hello friends welcome to my channel today i am going to show you how to make remote control car and access through your mobile so first of all you will need mdf medium density fiber board which is very versatile engineer wood product cut it into rectangle shape now the second thing you need motor 6 volt dc gear motor so for four wheels you need 6 volt dc gear motor i have solder positive and negative wire as shown here i used glue gun so fix this pore motor on MDF board. This gear motor is easily available in electronics market, local market. It is very cost effective and it is specially designed for robotics product. Now you can see friends at one side of MDF board I have glued these four motors. Now turn the MDF board. So back side I will put Arduino you know R3. So don't use glue instead of that you can use double sided tape as I have shown here and stick it on the MDF board. So it sticked perfectly. Now friends you need to stack a motor driver on Arduino. So I have used this L293D shield for Arduino. As you can see that Arduino has female pin and L293 has male pin. So uh, let's stack together it, the pin to pin compatible so see friends one side is uh, DC gear motor 4 and the other side Arduino and L293D driver on L293D shield you can see that this is M1, M2, M3 and M4 connectors so now we need to connect 4 DC motor with this motor shield let's do it each motor has 2 wires so uh, totally you have to connect 8 wires to this board in respected connector like M1 2 wire in M1 connector 2 wires of M2 in M2 connector as uh, I have shown here uh, I will uh, share the connection diagram also for better clarification uh, see this is connection diagram so after making connection it will look like this now you need to connect battery cell holder as you can see here that I have already connected uh, one switch externally to this battery cell holder so you can control your car externally uh, I have already uh, stick double sided tape so let's stick it on MDF board put it uh, beside the Arduino main module it stick perfectly now you have to connect positive and negative to this L293D driver. Arduino and L293D are pin compatible so power pin also compatible. Now I have take Bluetooth module HC05 which is also easily available. Bluetooth module has male pin so I have connected female connector over here. I have already put double sided tape so let's stick. Uh, beside Arduino module so this is power supply wires of Bluetooth module black is negative and white is positive so let's connect it now after connecting supply wires we need to connect data wires which is RX and TX so this is RX and TX uh, trim it and apply solder on tip of it now solder rx to tx of arduino board and tx of bluetooth to rx of arduino board make sure for cross connection of rx and tx of bluetooth now using solder uh, i have connected through this l293 shield now i am taking a rechargeable cell battery which I am going to put it in a battery cell holder like this currently supply is off now connect 4 wheels to 4 DC motors like this way so 4 wheels are connected perfectly uh, now as you can see that our hardware is ready see now it's time for a programming now let's open Arduino programming and uh, 
download it on Arduino board, our hardware board. So this is the program which I am going to download on hardware. Meanwhile, uh, let's tie this wire so it become very neat and clean. Programming is uploaded to our hardware Arduino board. Now from your mobile, you have to install Bluetooth RC car app on your mobile. So this is install and let's switch on the hardware. I have turned on Bluetooth on my mobile. So you can see the blink, our HC05 is blinking. Hardware is also on, mobile is also on. Let's pair it. Yes, HC05. So after pairing our hardware to our mobile app, now open the app, connect to the car. See HC05, this car is showing. Now it is connected. Now you see what you need to do. You can control your hardware car on your mobile using Bluetooth app. So thank you friends for watching. If you like this video, then do subscribe to my channel, like and share. Stay tuned for more DIY robotics projects. Thank you.